Governor Yahya Bello of Kogi State has vowed to bring the perpetrators behind the attacks on the communities in Dekina, local government area of the state, to justice. The governor gave the assurance when he led heads of security agencies in the state for an on-the-spot assessment of the communities. The governor, who was represented by his deputy, Edward Onoja, described the attacks as barbaric, though not very frequent, in Kogi State. 2018. We only passed through this place to a boundary community in Basa local government. It wasn't as if something happened here in 2018. Okay. It happened in a boundary community in Basa, but you have to pass through here to get there. Yes. And His Excellency came down here by himself. And for four years or five years, from 2018 to now, it's five years, there has not been any of such incidents. And this does just happen. And as we speak, the military are fully on ground. From the very day that the incident happened, they even forestalled more casualty and more deaths. They've been on ground since then, and they will remain on ground. And just like the Commissioner of Police confirmed to you, more deployments by the mobile police and terror anti-terrorist uh, squad would also be on ground. He assured that a team had taken stock to ensure quick intervention in form of palliatives to cushion the effects of the pains for the community. It's unfortunate with the, in the cover of the inspection of what the damage has been done at Ogunago, the deputy commission, the deputy governor was there. We have seen the extent of damage, but it's to find out what led, what brought about this uh, Admosity that translated into damage of human lives and property. So the border, the the bottom line will be that to go into investigation and find out the critical uh, issues involved in this matter and what remedies can be done. No, is concerned about um, anything that has to do with the security, safety, and well-being of his people, and that's why um, he sent. He's number two, the deputy governor of the state, to visit the affected areas. Uh, what I saw in the eyes of the people today at that place uh, is confidence. Uh, as we are entering um, that troubled, uh, one of the troubled um, uh, communities, uh, we saw people tying their mattresses at the back of their motorcycle. For yesterday, so we experienced a bad hoodlum attack in this community. Uh, we could not even understand what just come up. All we can see is that all around us in this community, Fulani herdsmen invaded and they started to kill our people. Along the line, they started to burn our house. So, and we could not attack them because we are not armed. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.